Don't cry, Rudo. We'll get your sapphire back. Hee <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the fleshy door that I was about to go through in the last part and see what's up in this room. I'm gonna... Uh-oh. What was that? A keys? Chirpy chirps give me worries of fire keys. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, I don't have my Deku shield out, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait. It's those underwater thingies. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot you once you pop out of the water. Or maybe you won't pop out of the water. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm gonna have to lure you. Oh, woo! that's not gonna work out for me. <laughs> go, 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 go. Well, I can shoot them through the water, so let's. I guess we'll just do that. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I guess I can. It, it looked like it didn't do any damage there when they were underwater, but I guess it did something because it killed it. There we go. Couldn't hit it there for a second because it was constantly moving. And you know what? I will get those hearts because I am uh, took that hit and you get the idea. Uh, that switch down there. What do I want to do with that switch? What does that switch do anyway? Oh, I can actually... Hmm. Okay, that opens the door behind me. That's a skull tula. Okay, what am I missing in this room here? Wait, that's a that's a gold skull tula. Dang you! How the heck do I get that one? Oh wait, where? What? 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 Oh my! It's invisible. That's... that's impossible! I don't have the Lens of Truth yet! No way! That is... that's unfair! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lure down the other keys, because I'm sure that I triggered that other one to fly down once I flew on the left side there. Okay, maybe after I kill all the invisible keys in this room I'll see what's up well that switch stays down which is pretty interesting I have to say okay I can hear the battle music when I'm sitting in this corner well, where the heck is the keys am I supposed to shoot at it blindly or something like that because I don't I don't see any po any possibility of me being able to shoot that thing because I can't see it <laughs> uh, no I can't I can't get a lock on on anything you know how you can lock on to things in the first person view with your L targeting thing oh boy <laughs> let's go back through here <laughs> Let's see what's up. Maybe I am supposed to throw her up there and then plop back down from the higher area. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to light something on fire later. I'm pretty sure she'll stay on top of that upper area now, come to think of it. So hopefully she won't reset her position. Hopefully she'll just yell at me once I fall down on her head. <laughs> don't hit me. No, please don't. Thank you. And now let's go meet up with Rudo again. She doesn't save her position, does she? Dang it! <laughs> That's mean. It's so very mean. So what am I supposed to do then with her? Because... Ow. I mean, I can't like climb out with her and I have to use her to open that door then again I don't need her in that area anyway <laughs> huh. this is a puzzler for sure okay I I guess I'm gonna have to figure out the puzzle in that other room unless there's some way that I can jump up there like using the water spout Let's just try that for once, because this is my only other idea here, is that this water spout will get high enough that I can, like, jump onto that ledge 
Maybe? Ah, so I can. Puzzle solved. Through the door we go. squirming around quite a lot there, so let's just chuck her up there. Alright, you got your thing back. Now let's get out of here already. That's a thing I need too, so there really isn't much for us to do now, is there? Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense there. <laughs> yeah, she's in the pose that's like when you get something and that's like a little parody of sorts. Yes! I got very upset with Lord Jibba Jibba swallowing it. Why would he swallow a shiny thing anyway? Oh, that's pretty much what happened to me as well. It just sucked us right in there. Gave him a fish. <sighs> All right, let's go home. Whatever you say, so let's just climb up here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, poopers. I'm not liking the sounds of those screams. Ah! Giant Octorok of Death! And this is the boss that I was referring to back in the other part. It is the Big Octo. Basically, you stun it with the boomerang and run around this thingy here. And basically, the idea is to hit him on his back. That's why you want to run around. You'll notice that there's spikes around the floor there. And no, 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 don't follow me around here. See, the, the, uh, as I said, that's the idea, is to just go around. And he always goes around the shortest way to try and get me, so that's pretty annoying. So you have to re-stun him with the boomerang, and yeah, it's not a hard boss. It's just the fact of that you have to keep him stunned. And that's a pretty annoying thing to do, because of the fact of you have to time your boomerang to hit him as soon as he becomes unstunned. Otherwise, he'll start moving and dodge your boomerang completely. Uh, so, as I said, it's not hard, just a little annoying because you have to do that thing. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to be able to do it that, am I? Yeah, I have to keep him Z, keep Z targeted onto him. Uh, unless there's some other way that I can do this? I don't think so. Hey, that should have hit him, actually. Wait, wait, what if I what if I take a hit by you? Well that works. <laughs> that's that's not my ideal setup, obviously. Oh. Is there any way that I can get you to flipsy flip around? Or can I like go around you? I don't think I can. Oh that's what you do! You switch sides on me. Okay, I can live with that. So that's what. I completely forgot about that. How could I forget about that? Well, then again, you know me. <laughs> Alright, so flip around and start running the other way. Hopefully. Whoa! Nope. So I gotta time my thingy for him to... When he turns around the other way. And I just whip out my sword and hit him like that. Did I kill him? Yay! <laughs> And now, this thing in the center here, this spiky platform, acts as an elevator. Now, where's that octopus thingy? It's evidently gone, and it has taken Ruto with her. I mean, it, Ruto with it, excuse me. Dang it. My grammar is terrible today, apparently. There's a cow up there. And I heard some like-likes. You save me? Huh? Or maybe that wasn't like likes. Maybe that was the growls of Jabu Jabu's intestines or something like that. I don't know. I gave it a fish. I don't know why it would still be hungry. <sighs> maybe it needs more of the greedy thing. All right, let's see. Whoa! That is an interesting enemy. It's a Bari. It's a much larger version of the berry. It's still uh, weak against the boomerang. You just stun it and then attack it with your sword. It doesn't take damage from the boomerang like the berries do, but it's still pretty easy to defeat. It's just a reskin enemy, basically, except it's got that little alternative thing that you can't hit it with. Uh, I should say you can't kill it with the boomerang. I would like to shoot that cow up there, if at all possible. I hope I didn't lose my chance there because I activated it by going a little too close. 
Yeah, let's shoot the cow. <laughs> that does. Oh! Huh? What? <laughs> that gives me some crates. I bet you I'm gonna have to jump across these things and set them on a switch. What? Why are there so many cows? I can get some milk from this one. Lizaphos. 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 And yeah, I don't have my shield equipped here, so I'm just gonna have to dodge them normally. Gonna have to dodge them like a man. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's no problem even if you just dodge him normally without a shield. Those Lizaphos are just stalling enemies. They really don't do all that much for you. Okay, so those things are active. So I'm going to have to stun them with the boomerang, grab a crate, and jump across them, I assume. Because, yeah, I, I, I remember that. For some reason, I remember something. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> it's amazing. And there we go. Quick, 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 quick. Jump, 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 jump. And you can tell when they're about to become active again when you see their color change. And there we go. Plop it on there. Opens has me to his bowel or whatever the heck that is. Oh, this is an elevator back up to the main room that I'm going to be activating right now. Um, yeah, let's just jump on here and... See this? This is back over at the fleshy area. Now, I, since I activated this elevator, it will go up and down automatically. So I'll just wait on here to go back up to the top. Or at least I think it'll go up automatically. It better go up automatically, otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ticked because I have to go through that thing again. Or maybe that was just to reach this room? Oh, and this treasure chest. <laughs> So I guess that was what I was supposed to do. Oh, well, that works for me. <laughs> Never mind what I said. I'm not ticked at all. That works for me greatly. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, I can just snipe you from here, can't I? Yeah, I'll just uh, do this. <laughs> They'll smell me out, but they aren't going to be doing anything while I'm just sniping them from up here. There we go. Four hits with a slingshot does the trick. There better not be any more in this room. That would really, really be annoying. Yep. Mm, yep. As long as you're not too close to them that they do that invincible sucking animation thing, that, that thing right there, then you can just shoot them with your uh, slingshot, no problem. Okay. Fairy? Fairy? Hmm. Alright, what if I shoot this cow? Treasure chest appears right by my foot. Well, right foot. <laughs> no, my wallet's full, dang it. Ah, I need a larger wallet once again. What the heck? Did that cow just move up? Oh my god, this is so weird. Mm. Then that third hit was the switch. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even know that was the solution. I guess I can just smell out puzzles nowadays. Okay, I'm just making making up stories now. Then again, what? Whenever? I mean, when don't I make up stories in these things? Unless I'm giving a tip or something like that. It's what I do as a random commentator. Now I recall in the original there was, yeah, yeah, that thingy. There was a switch on there, but here's the interesting thing: that web you can't shoot through. So what am I supposed to do about that Skulltula? Can I like? Yes, I can. That was a lucky shot. <laughs> awesome sauce. Now I should be able to Z-target and, and curve around that thing like in the normal dungeon to get a gold Skulltula token. Yes! And no more like-likes, please. Okay. Those like-likes are so annoying, I swear. Wait, the boss is through this room? That's, that's it for the dungeon? I really got everything yes I did except for that um, those two gold skull to laws back by that song of time block and behind that spider web which I will find the solution to later apparently so let's just save our game for the heck of it and check out the boss oh 
Oh boy. King of all berries. Lots of berries, actually. Electromagnetic forces! Yeah, this is Baronade here. Its weakness is pretty much the boomerang for absolutely everything. Immediately, start cutting its tentacles out at the top there. Whoops, 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 you doodle. Just you target onto the thing. Yeah, it'll try and shoot you with electricity. It's like... It's so slow at shooting with electricity. What's, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> now, once you cut all the tentacles up there, it'll now come out of the ground, of which you're going to want to stun with your boomerang, and then start attacking it. And that's how you damage it. That's pretty much all this boss is. It's actually a pretty tricky boss if you don't know what the heck you're doing. And you've also got to time your boomerang slashes through these uh, berry enemies, and what's embedded within uh, Lord Jabu Jabu there, you've got to kill off its uh, uh, berries right here. Well, actually, those are berries, then, if they're, you know, weak to the uh, boomerang, so basically you got to kill them off, and then its body will be vulnerable again to attack with your sword, just like before. Just keep your distance, and you shouldn't have any trouble getting it. Dang it! Ow! Kill these things already. Dang it! And those things are invincible when they're, when they're uh, uh, swirling around its body with its electromagnetic pulses and whatnot. Just get its, get the boomerang between them. There we go. Come on. Just gotta kill them off. Hooah! One more. No! Dang it! Why am I having so much trouble killing off those things? This is not a hard boss in the slightest. And I'm... What's... A kicker here is that I'm used to fighting this boss with only five hearts, but since I've been exploring a crap load of things before this dungeon, I like how I usually play the game, uh, because, you know, I'm doing a 100% run, basically, uh, I've got more hearts than I normally would. Now, once you kill all those things, you, you will expose its body like normal, and then you'll be able to start attacking it again. Now it's going to start ah, trying to electrocute you with its beams of sparkliness. And it's doing a pretty good job for me. <laughs> there we go. One more. Slash. Okay, more than just one more. Oh, boy. I got a little hasty there. Got a little bit hasty. Backflip, backflip, backflip. Yeah. And front flips, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get myself in range. Come on. No. No. Come on. Let go. And that, my friends is the boss and dungeon. Ew. Oh. Oh. The smell, it's, oh my god, horrible. Oh, at least I got a heart container out of it. Oh. Oh. And light should be, ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, let's get out of here already. Hey, she's blushing. What, you're late? What took you so long? You're useless. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't have fended that thing off yourself. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, you're lonely for me? What? I'm not liking the sounds of that, that's for sure. And we are transported outside! Uh-oh. Uh, this is... Oh... Boy, this is not good. I'm not liking the looks of this scene at all. Oh boy, skinny dipping. No, don't, please don't touch me. No. Still, why don't Zoras wear clothes anyway? This would be censored normally. <laughs> Wait, I did? Well, what? I would like a reward. Um, that spiritual stone would be pretty nice, actually. Yeah, that would be. It's something that I need. I would like to sell it on eBay. And n never mind. I, I mean, I would like to what? You're only supposed to give it to your husband. Well, maybe you shouldn't give it to me after all. Then, um, now what are you? Why are you doing the backstroke anyway? And why did you have to move away from me to give me the thing? I don't know. But anyway, we got the Zora Sapphire! Yeah! 
It's about time. That's the last spiritual stone we needed. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that, actually. Alright, let's go back to the Hyrule Castle and see Princess Zelda. Uh... Uh... I need an adult! <laughs> yes, all three dungeons. We needed an adult. I mean, all three dungeons, we had to enter the mouth of some creature somewhere along the lines. And at the end of all three dungeons, we needed an adult. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, let's go back over to Hyrule Castle. Woohoo! Actually, let's check this out here, because she's over by her dad now. Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? <laughs> um, I don't know just yet, but I guess we're going to be seeing. Um, Zora King! Big Daddy-O, what do you have to say about me rescuing your daughter? Oh, Link, so you saved the princess, eh? I really appreciate it. That's it?! Well, I suppose I got Zora Sapphire. Anyway, back to Hyrule Castle we go. Alright, so we made it back to Hyrule Field at last. Well, it's not Hyrule Castle, but it's close. <laughs> the next destination is right straight across. You know how I always do this thing where I'm going to another destination. I don't cut forward after a certain point, you know, just to show where you're supposed to go and whatnot. And the sun is setting awkwardly close to the time that we are... Why is the gate up during the daytime? Something is very strange about this. Navi, what do you have to say about this? I know! Jesus, I know! Wait, what is going on here? Holy crap. Storm seems to be brewing. Hey, lower the gate. I gotta get in there before the storm comes. This looks strangely familiar. Oh, thanks for opening the gate up. Oh. Zelda! An Impa! What did she just throw there? Oh boy! Looks like my dream was a premonition. Ah, oh, I lost her. You, over there. Little treasure. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! Uh, I need an adult. <laughs> so you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. Bring it on! What are you laughing at? I got my paring knife to take you down. Oh, uh, uh, so that's why. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon... I will rule the world! Oh, I'm pretty happy he didn't, he didn't kill me or anything like that. But what was that thing that got thrown into the river? Let's dive in after it! Oh boy! I'm not liking the looks of this. Perhaps our game has only begun. 
And let's get under. Dang it. Ooh, got it. It is the Ocarina of Time. What this game is named after. It appears to have some sort of magical power surrounding it as well. Uh, well, I can't really hear you, but I can read you, because, you know, text some... Never mind, never mind. It's shiny and beautiful and smooth and... Oh! This doesn't sound very good. Wait, you know another song? Why didn't you teach me a song earlier, Zelda? Right A down, right A down. I played that strangely well. <laughs> yes, another song to add to our song collection. Perhaps we'll find Ludwig's Lost Symphony one of these days. <clears throat> Alright, I shall. Well, later on. <laughs> There's no hurry, don't worry. We've got a crap load more collecting to do, so don't go to the Temple of Time just yet. I am going to have a couple of parts after this collecting the stuff that we've missed, basically, and then go to the Temple of Time. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. Things are getting exciting. And then I just ruined the moment with my commentary. <laughs>